I'll have this one, please. Can you just... How many would you like? Two. Do you get a cup if you get the like four out though, just in case one breaks or anything, and then we don't have to go back in the box. So today I'm going to do a root canal treatment, which is a quite a complex procedure. There's a lot of steps involved to it. So first of all, myself and my nurse Kaylee, we're just setting the surgery up, making sure everything is out and ready to go that we could possibly need. Not particularly. More so because like, cause it's my first time meeting the patient cause he's seen another dentist to plan the treatment. It's more so like knowing how he feels about it that, you know, makes me unsure. The treatment is fine because I do it every day, but the, um, it's just how the patient is going to, you know, feels about having it done because I don't know. He'll be fine. He came in in pain a month ago. So he saw a dentist who gave him... Um, the options he could either have the tooth out or a root canal obviously though having the tooth out means then you're left with a space and then sometimes that can be expensive to fix that um and i i'd always say you know if you can save the tooth then because you can never guarantee that a root canal is going to work but if you try it and it fails then you could i always say to people like you, you can sleep at night knowing that you gave it a shot um so he he said he wanted to keep it if he could um and then he came back and one of my colleagues opened the tooth up um, and then, yeah, just arranged an appointment with me to, for the root canal to be finished. Hit them with the back feet, uh. Morning, Joe. Hi, Ajit, how are you? I'm all right. Uh, I've come for my root canal uh, appointment. Please. You have. You're seeing Jen this morning. That's great. I've just got a consent form for you to read through and sign again. Yeah. If you take your seat and do that for me, then when Kayleigh shouts you through, she'll take it from you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I'm having my root canal procedure today. Um, yeah, I've came. That's my second appointment. Hopefully, it's the final one. That's basically when we uh, started getting too fake. Uh, it was really, really painful. And I phoned up and uh, they were kind enough to book me in. I, I've been very nervous when I go to, normally when I go to a dentist. I used to leave it for years until I went back, purely because I'm, I've been always been a very, very nervous patient, really. To go in and it smells of chemicals and that normally triggers my sort of nervousness but I think my main issues if I'm really honest not going to the dentist uh, as regularly as I should have done um, so yeah I think that's 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 probably the main issue um, but even prior to that I used to brush my, I still do brush my teeth twice a day and you know really good with dental hygiene and all that sort of thing but you can't you can't sort of um, in, you know, stress of importance of actually uh, of coming regularly to your dentist to have the clean-ups and the check-ups and all that sort of thing, yeah. I think the thing that makes people most nervous about visiting the dentist is the unknown and the, you know, vulnerability of coming here and listening to what we have to say and trusting it and, you know, being in that position where we're going we're gonna to do something that they might not fully understand. I try and get to know my patients and, you know, know what they want me to tell them what not to tell them. Hiya, Hello, you alright? Come on in, not are you alright? I'm Jen, not... nice to meet Hi, you. Hi Jen, nice to meet you. Do you want to take a seat? I'll take Thank that you. consent form off you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right, take a seat. So, oh dear. enough time to read through this. Any questions or anything, anything uh, you want to know a bit more about? No, just sort of go ahead and do it. Don't tell me when you're doing the injections and... Okay, fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I won't. Um, so basically, what we're going to do today is sometimes a root canal, we can do the whole thing in one go. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it takes two or three. It all depends on how, sort of, you know, yeah. how it is when I get in there, really. Sure. Um, I will do everything I can to try and get it done in one go. Oh, brilliant, Obviously, thank if you. It, if it is... Oh, that's like, a relief. <laughs> if it is particularly weepy or infected or anything, then we'll, we'll dress it and rebook you. Yeah, fine. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okie dokie. Little scratch here, two, two. Well done. Three, oh. two, one. 
that wonderful well done sorry thank there you. you go thank you all right you're welcome right i'll give that a little bit of time to kick in um, I'm going to put um, something called a rubber dam over it. So it's this rubber sheath. It stops any of the sort of like the um, any of your saliva getting into the tooth. Of course. And yeah. any of like the stuff that I'm going to use getting into the rest of your mouth because some Thank of it's you. a little bit strong. Okay. Thank you. It just boosts the chances of the um, root canal working. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. All right. I'm just going to have a little look at the tooth first. I'm not going to do anything just yet. Sure. I'll pop you back. So going into a root canal treatment, which is quite a long procedure, it's really important to make sure that the patient is completely numb before we start, um, just so that they don't have any discomfort as we're doing it. Um, so before I sort of do anything or attach anything to the tooth, put the rubber dam clamp on, anything like that, it's, I'm just going to make sure that Ajit is completely numb before we start. Right. So you're just going to feel a little bit of pressure just as the clamp oh. goes around your tooth. OK. Sorry, Ajit. So when I began to put the rubber dam on it was quite difficult because of the extent that the tooth has broken down and um, I wasn't able to do that safely or um, effectively enough so to, to be able to do that we just had to do a little um, build up of the tooth first which then allowed me to put the rubber dam on properly. You never know what can happen during a procedure so many things can happen and I'm there to help Jen as fast as possible. Oh. You okay? Mm-hmm. I could just could feel the cold a bit. Okay, was it on which two? The one you're working the on. The one I'm working on. Would you like a drop more anaesthetic? Uh, if you must, thanks. Okay. I would never ask for it willingly, but there you go. Uh. Sometimes in a dental procedure, if the and if we give the anaesthetic and you're still feeling something, it could be that you're feeling the sensitivity on one of the adjacent teeth. So we would give a little second bit of anaesthetic either in front or behind the tooth that we're working on just to relieve that feeling so you know, you're know you not worrying about any sensitivity. Now that I'm confident that Ajit is completely numb, we can get started on the root canal. Okay. Right, this should be easier to get this rubber dam on now. Bear with me. Okay. I'm a little bit pinchy, do ticks. Right then. Mm -hmm. We can start on this. If you get any bad tastes or any pain or anything like that, just pop your hand straight up, that's it, okay. Oh. So the process for a root canal procedure would be to numb the patient up, isolate the tooth with a rubber dam, access the tooth, clean and shape the canal system, fill the canal system, and then put a filling over the top to fill the tooth. So um, one thing about doing a root canal treatment is, you know, the time that it takes, it really does, you know, you've got to maintain a real level of concentration all the way through, so it is quite a tough procedure to do. Good. How are you doing, Ajit? You all yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Good. So we've just shaped and cleaned the canals all the way to the how long they are. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just checking that I can keep the canals really dry and then we know that they're ready um, and we can go ahead and fill them today. So there's two canals but I think they actually merge into one. So I'm going to just, um, I've put the filling in um, but I'm going to take an x-ray just to make sure we're up to where we need to be before we actually seal the filling in up all together. I'm just going to take this frame off our jeep, but okay. the sheet's going to stay there and I'm going to just pop you up and just take an x-ray, okay? Okay, if you just open wide as you can for me there, bear with me, I'm sorry, two tips. Uh -huh. And then just close gently down onto that lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all done, you can let go of that. Okay, so this is the tooth that we're working on. Um, this really white bit is the clamp of the rubber dam, which is helping um, isolate the tooth. 
and then what I'm looking for, so this, this is the jawbone here, this horizontal line, and then this bit is the root of the tooth, which sits underneath the gum. And what we're looking for is that we have filled all the way to um, on the x-ray where it looks like the root ends, which it looks like we've done. Um, I did actually measure that length with what's called an apex locator, so we, you know, we knew where we were going to. Um, but this is just to confirm that we are within the root uh, before we actually complete the filling. I realised I wanted to be a dentist when I was growing up. I had a lot of um, work done to my teeth, so I had teeth taken out, I had braces for I think about two years and the difference it made to how I felt about myself and my confidence levels just completely changed. Um, so that really sort of spurred me on to look into doing it to go on to help people and make that difference for them as well. Damn off, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Better for that. Ooh, really. Oh, can I just get some articulating paper, Kaylee, please? I'm just going to check your bite there. Sure. Just open. And then if you tap your teeth together onto that, and open. Lovely. That looks fine. Does that feel okay for you? Perfect. Yeah, great, thank you. Okay. I think I probably fell asleep a couple of times, didn't I? <laughs> I might have done. I think a lot of my patients fall asleep, particularly when I'm doing long procedures like a root canal or composite bonding. Um, because there's not really much going on, there's not there's not a lot of sounds and it is a long appointment. So yeah, I, I find a lot of them in those specific appointments can fall asleep, yeah. Feel all right? Great. Fab. It was really good. The root canal is done. Wow. Thank so, you. as I say, you, I think you're best having a post in this tooth. So we'll do that next time. Sure. Because then we can build the core up and we can get a, like a 3D scan of the tooth to make the crown. Yeah. All right. But we, I want to review that. It all looks fine. Um, but as I say, I want to review it and see how you've been next time, and then we'll crack on with the post and the crown for you. That's brilliant. Thank all you. All right. Then you're very welcome. You might get, um, over the next 24 hours, you might get a little bit of tenderness. Your gum might be a little bit sore where that clamp's been. Yeah. And it might feel a little bit sore where I've been prodding and poking. Completely normal. Don't worry about that. Thank you. No problem. Oof. Little steady, thank you. Oh, you're right, take your time. All right, cheers, thank <laughs> All you. All right. Yeah, I think the root canal went really well. The initial build up, obviously, I had to do that before we could put the rubber dam on. Um, so that made the whole thing take a little bit longer, um, but only by about 10, 15 minutes. Um, but obviously, important to make sure that we're doing it right and it's all safe. Um, so, yeah, fine. The whole thing took about an hour and a half. And, you know, luckily we were able to get the whole thing finished in one appointment. So um, usually if it's still like a little bit weepy or a little bit oozy when we try and dry it, we'd just put a dress in and, and then the patient would come back for a second appointment. But yeah, everything was fine. We kept it nice and dry, so we were able to get it all done. Completing the procedure successfully is a good feeling. Um, it just makes everything worthwhile, but also I like doing root canals because the only other option would be for the tooth to come out. So the fact that the tooth has been saved is a huge sense of satisfaction. Yeah. Yes, so we are live on TikTok. Hi everyone. Hi guys. Woo! Hi, hi, thanks for joining. But we just wanted to jump on here everyone and um, give you all some tips. Promoting some Dental healthy care. teeth. Healthy teeth. Advice. Exactly. So we're here to answer your questions, We are guys. here to answer some questions, have a bit of a giggle. Yes. So me and Tyler have gone live today on TikTok because we wanted to give our followers an opportunity to chat to us, voice any concerns, and we can answer their questions. Uh, someone's asking, I'm so scared, I think I need a filling. Guys, Get it checked. familiarise yourself with the dentist. Yeah. Make sure you feel comfortable with the dentist, with the nurse, yeah. with your surroundings. And I'm telling you now, oh, 
Patterson is saying that they are te- petrified. Terrified. Loads of people are saying terrified, petrified. It is so much better if you feel like you need a filling, you need to go and have your filling done because it's better having a filling than having a root canal. Or and having it out. Extraction. Do you work on people that have been to Turkey? Um, uh, it's, it's a tricky subject. Yeah, people that go abroad for dentistry, the only word of caution that I will tell you is, don't get me wrong, there are fabulous dentists and fabulous work that does get done abroad. However, they are far, far more destructive than British dentists. I often do get asked about um, turkey teeth or having teeth done abroad. Um, a lot of people are traveling now to places like Turkey uh, to have their teeth done for multiple reasons, usually because it's a lot cheaper than the UK. Um, and so a lot of people ask me my advice or ask me my opinion on, uh, on this. If you do decide to have dental work done in uh, done in Turkey or anywhere like that, uh, if anything does happen to those teeth, so if you break one of your veneers or one of your crowns, UK dentists won't touch you. The minute that a UK dentist does anything to that tooth, they are responsible for that tooth. So be prepared that if anything does go wrong, you will have to fly back or you will have to go back and see that dentist that did actually place the work. Yeah, I would say, definitely think about it and treat it with caution. It's been lovely chatting to you. We've really enjoyed it. Yeah, we've really enjoyed giving you some advice. Right guys, it's been great. Love you all. See you soon. Bye. That was the highest one that we've had, like watchers. There was like a thousand people on there. It was so nice to see the amount of engagement that we got, like so many questions. And me and Tyler were just literally flying through it. We will definitely, definitely be doing this again. I think it's a great, great platform to answer these questions. I've been making millions and I spend it on the dance floor. Every time I run that, I go out and I just make more. Today we have Jan coming in to have a composite veneer placed on her tooth. It should take around an hour to complete. Jan's a great patient. She is great. I mean, we always chat a lot. She's very compliant. She's actually quite relaxed as well. Um, Let's me get on with what I need to do. Um, Yeah, she's great. So how's everything? Been for up. Saying that, yeah. it's been a little, you know, this were the bridges. Right, yeah. Where you said it was a little bit thin. Last week it started getting quite tender. Oh, did it? Right, I'll have Swelling a look. Right. Swelling and red. It's calmed down now. Right, but... right, I'll have a look at it. Yeah. yeah. Have a look and see what's going on up there, okay. Yeah. So today we're going to be doing the composite on this front tooth. Yes. So we're not really happy with the appearance. No. So what I'm going to do is numb you up first and then we remove that composite that's already there. Yeah. Um, give it a good clean underneath and then I'm going to rebuild it for you, okay? Lovely. We'll match the colour of it so that it's... Um, all nice and uniform, and then we'll give you a mirror and have a little look. I'm just going to get you just to pop these glasses on for us. Thank you. Thank you. And then I'm going to pop this over you. There we go. Just clip you in. Are you okay there? Are you nice and comfortable? I am. Yep. Rightio, let's have a little look at you. Right, so I'm going to put like a little bit of a numbing jelly on your gum before we inject it, okay? Yeah. So it'll make it a bit more comfortable for you. Perfect. And open, lovely. There we go. So a lot of the times, if we are giving a local anaesthetic, especially at the front of the mouth, it can be quite uncomfortable. Um, so I always tend to apply some numbing gel to the gum before I give an injection. So this actually numbs the area where the injection is gonna go into, so it's a bit more comfortable for the patient. Just relax your lip, lovely, nice deep breath in. Well done, just deep breaths for me, doing really well, well done. Well done, well done, you're doing really well. Keep breathing for me, deep breaths in. Nearly there now, well done. Almost done. Three, two, one. Well done. Well done. That's the horrible bit. (sighs) 
Right. Let's have a little look. I think we go an A1. An A1? Okay. Yeah, we want to brighten it up. This looks a bit dark. Yeah. It seems to be this, this corner. It oh, the corner. It. Yeah, okay. That's fine. What we'll do, like I say, I'll remove it all yeah. and then we'll put a new layer of composite on there and then buff it up. So I just want to keep it looking bright and, and yeah. you know, it looks a bit dark at the moment. The shade's a little bit um, darker than the two next door, so we'll brighten. Fresh. Exactly, exactly. Right. How's it feeling? Starting to go funny? Starting to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Right, okay, let's have a little look at this now. So, what you're going to feel, lots of buzzing and vibration on the tooth, okay? Yeah. Um, if it feels sensitive or tender or anything, you let me know, I okay? Will. But it should be fine. There's lots of buzzing, lots of vibration. Tyler's going to use the suction to get rid of the water, okay? Now that Jan's nice and numb, we can get to work, remove the old composite and place the new composite veneer. How's okay, that feeling, then. Jan? Okay. Fine. Fine, good. Having taken all of the bonding off, I've really cleaned the surface of the tooth. I'm going to apply some composite now, blend it in, and make sure it's perfectly symmetrical to the others. You won't be able to notice a thing. Turn the light down for me. I definitely think working with composite is a total skill. It really is. Um, it's almost like sculpting something. Because the thing is with composite, it is a resin and it comes out of a gun. So if you squeeze it out of the gun, it's just a blob. And then you've got to make something out of that blob. So it's down to the dentist's skill, especially when it's like a front tooth or it's a composite veneer. Um, it's down to the dentist then to mold that composite, use our specific tools, get it looking as much like an actual tooth as possible. So yeah, it definitely is an art. Looking a much better shade, isn't it? Okay, nearly there. Last little bit of polishing. You're doing really well. Yeah. Yeah, it looked fabulous. Good ma shade match. Oh. Ooh. But that feels a lot better. <laughs> Yes, it does. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit you up, Jan. I want you to have a rinse out for me. Yeah. And then I just need to have a look what it looks like from the front, OK? So what we've done, Jan, that old composite that was on there, yeah. starting, it was starting to wear away, wasn't it? It was coming yeah. away from the edge of the tooth. It was very stained. So I've removed all of that and I've built up a new composite uh, veneer for you on that tooth, OK? Yeah. Um, I've matched it to the colour of the teeth either side, it looks brighter, nicer. Yeah. Um, and obviously, as you know, looking after composites, you brush them as normal, floss them as normal. See what you think. Really in keeping with the rest of your yeah. teeth. And I've blended it all in so that it's the right colour all the way through, it's consistent. Yeah. And I've just sort of levelled it a little bit as well. The other one, before it was just slightly longer than yeah. the, than the um, central incisor. So I've just sort of like brought the uh, edge of it up a little bit so that it's a bit more in keeping yeah. with the rest of your teeth. Well, when the numbness goes, I'll be able to <laughs> see it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's much better, much, much, much better. Yeah. The right colour, the right shape. Yeah, brilliant. Thank All right, you. Jan. Right. Hold on. So lovely to see you. And you. So, yeah, so your appointments will just be your next checkup as normal. Right. See you soon. See you soon. Have a good Take day. Care. Bye. Bye, Jan. Bye. See ya.
just had the appointment with Jan. I feel like everything's gone really well and I do think that she's super happy with the result. Um, it was an old composite veneer that she had. It was very brown, very stained. I think she was quite conscious of the appearance, but we've done it all, we've replaced it. I've showed her the mirror and yeah, she's happy. Today I am seeing a patient called Evan for whitening treatment. I try to put a brave face on sometimes with the dentist, but it's not the most pleasant experience, is it? It's not just the dentist, it takes a team. Do we argue? Absolutely. Do we fall out? Absolutely. But just like a family, at the end of the day, we shrug, hug, make up and move on. <laughs> so today I'm meeting Aaron for the first time for a new patient consultation. Do you smoke at all, Aaron? No. And just roughly how many units of alcohol would you drink a week, if any? Oh, let's say, let's say four. Okay. Not maybe six. Mm -hmm. 